Spencer Sheamus was calling. Okay, spins it back down. Again, Sheamus was calling. Okay, Sheamus was calling. Pulls back on the stick, being forced to the cockpit, we call positive G's. We talked about that earlier. Right now, you and I are going one positive G. That's what holds us on the ground. That's gravity. Nice blue sky. Look how high you can get on that. Takes it around. Beautiful hammerhead stall turn right back down side along his uh, smoke trail going vertical. Great altitude for here as we come across the Starts pushing negative. That's what we call forward on the stick. Negative cheese. This is where his internal organs try to exit through his eye sockets. Goes straight up. Stands on the left rudder. Flies it across the top of the square loop. Hanging down the propeller right now. Stands on the left rudder one more time. Going down the third side of the square loop. Now pulls the stick back in his loop. Back up at about seven times his body weight as he pours into the cockpit with positive juice. Just like swinging that bucket of water by the handle. Goes straight up again, stands on the rudder pedal, and he holds it in, and he does the double hammerhead for the pinwheel. Okay, trading that ever valuable airspeed for altitude because he comes back down. That howling noise you hear in the tips of the propellers, they go supersonic. Our engines are direct drive, which means we have 540 cubic inch, turning that 80 inch free plane propeller out front. Really low on airspeed at this point. Looks out above that top wing. Finishes a nice tight loop. Finishes the second half. The sky was blue. This would look like a snowman in the sky. Okay, that low run you hear is that big 540 cubic inch six cylinder light coming air cooled engine. That crackling noise you hear are the propeller tips. They attempt to go supersonic. For the fact he's turning up over 3,000 RPMs. Now, all you hot rods out there, you gearheads, you know that you can make about 10,000 horsepower out of 540 cubic inch, but you can do it at 3,000 RPMs. If we turn our engines at more than 3,000 RPMs, our propeller tips go supersonic, and it's like spinning our wheels. Going vertical one more time. Look, the vertical pin strike is Super Eagle. I guarantee an Eagle 2 will not do that. Over the top, the Hunt and Cup maneuver picks up the 45 degree down line. Snap on one, two, three, snap, four, snap. Finishes, starts and starts with negative, finishes a positive. 
very, very tough physical conditioning required to be able to take this when you go from positive to negative or negative to positive cheese because the transition is so extreme. A lot of physical, physical conditioning goes into extreme flying such as this. Okay, the tail slide, or as the grips, go, grips call it, the whip stall. When we're flying these aerobatics, we don't have G-suits as jet pilots do. We have to be able to tighten, the, tighten down all the muscles from our shoulders down to our knees to prevent the flying from flying. We do this by tightening all of our abdominal muscles and our stomach muscles. This comes from conditioning. You cannot replicate G's on a weight machine. It has to be done in the cockpit. Okay, for all you ladies out here, here's the heart of the sky. Positive maneuvers. This is like swinging a bucket of water from the handle. The water is.